Hello, everyone, and welcome to Earp Sister Feels. My name is Kevin Batchelder, and this is our episode number 30, where we're going to be talking about the Winona Earp episode, Afraid, which is episode four of season four. And uh, let me introduce our uh, contributing folks for this particular episode, starting with Rita. Hey. Alyssa. Hey, guys. Kylie. hey Jess. Hi. And Terry Ann. Hello. All right. So these are the Herb Sister Feels videos that we do. And um, as everybody knows, if you watch the episode, we don't have a ton of specific Herb Sister scenes from this one, but we do have a few fun things to talk about. Um, so I know just before we started to record, uh, folks were throwing around a couple of topics, so I don't want to lose the moment. But I know, uh, Jess, you mentioned something that you wanted to talk about. Oh, I just said that we got uh, Research Waverly, and I was excited because we haven't seen that in a long time. Yeah, definitely love, yeah, definitely love the back and forth on the phone um, with Waverly and Winona, even though, again, not in person, but um, it was such a great, like, throwback, like, season one kind of feels um, of the two of them kind of spit firing off of each other and, like, doing what they do best, so... Mm -hmm. Definitely a good moment to have in the episode. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like how... Cell service. <laughs> cell service. <laughs> yeah, and I liked how even like Winona, like when she showed it to Jeremy, like Jeremy didn't know what it was. And she like, she, she like, I think commented about like getting Waverly involved and like, I think like using the word research something like, I don't know. I thought that was like a cool kind of call out. She does call her nerdly too, which I yeah. <laughs> that was appropriately sisterly. And yeah. she even even worked in a baby girl mention. She did. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. Kevin will be living. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't think I'd miss that one, did you? Yeah. No. First note. First note. Baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's but it's that was interesting to me. In that, again, it was just a casual mention. I mean, we've gotten so used to those often being such emotional touchstone moments. It was just kind of a little fun thing. Uh, like you said, kind of that research vibe back from, and even Waverly like, ooh, I get to do research. Like, yeah, that's right. It's been, it's <laughs> yeah. been a while. <laughs> yeah. Visible excitement. Yeah. And I like it that, that Winona still needs her for that. Like, it's still like, that's very much their, their relationship. Um, in terms of when it comes to like the rev like the revenants and the demons and that sort of stuff like i do like they still have that dynamic of even though so much has changed between the two of them um and like you know waverly is half angel like all of that has happened but still the bare bones of like them just working together in that sort of dynamic um is great to still see mm -hmm. yeah absolutely and like i said it was kind of a fun and a very creepy episode though a very <laughs> fun vibe back to a lot of the season one stuff. Um, you know, thinking about Waverly with her presentations and, uh, you know, all that goes with it. Mm -hmm. And even yeah, though, like, like oh, go ahead. Oh, I feel like even though the episode was like really creepy, there were a lot of team themes throughout the whole episode and like getting the team back together and everyone in their roles, which even though the, and we've talked about in the last couple one episodes about how Rachel fits into the Earp sister dynamic. But I think that at the, in the kitchen, when everyone has come together and Rachel wants to leave, Waverly says something about keeping everyone together or that the team, we do everything together mm -hmm. and Winona is the one to be like, let her go. And I feel like that is a, was a cool vibe there she sort of like plays the aunt gus and white and winona at the table because she's like you're 17 you don't have a job and then <laughs> and the same breath also knows like okay she needs space so let her go and i feel like that's the first time that we've seen winona this season stop waverly from doing anything which again is a callback to our season one and two stuff that we've been talking about but i thought mm -hmm. that was a big moment in that scene yes Definitely. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I also like true. that um, that Waverly doesn't like fight her on that too. It's kind of like they both have two different ideas about what Rachel, um, about whether Rachel should stay or if they should go after her. But um, Waverly just kind of like takes Winona's lead on that one. 
So yeah, that was, that was uh, interesting for the two of them. It's healthy communication. It's so refreshing. Yes. <laughs> right? They have that now? I, I mean, say, give it gross, an, give it an right? Give it, <laughs> give it an episode. <laughs> for real. No, but I, I love your mention of uh, Gus and why not oh, kind yeah. of taking on that role. Very, very, very true. Right? I mean, because they're like oil and water, but they're also kind of very much the same. Interesting. Mm -hmm. But it's also, isn't that kind of like Gus and like, um, um, like their mom, like Mama Herb, like they're kind of like oil and water a little bit. You get that sort of, mm. I would have, A, loved lots of scenes with them together, but oh. um, I know, Gibson right? sister feels. Right? <laughs> oh, like, yeah. You kind of get, get the same sort of feel, though, of like how oil and water they would be as like mm -hmm. Waverly and Winona, too. Oh, I would kill for a Gus and Mama. Right? Spinoff? Oh, right. No, like not even spin off, just like just even like thirty. Just seconds. a little adventure. <laughs> just a little into the episode. Yeah. Oh, that'd be oh. so good. Uh, thinking maybe they work together at the rodeo or something. Oh yeah. <laughs> the demon rodeo. <laughs> that way because great. Gus would have been the Waverly in that situation and she would have yeah. been like everyone would be like, Well, Michelle is blah 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 and she'd be like, Yeah, Michelle, blah blah blah. <laughs> <laughs> So then Winona comes along and she's like, Winona, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> it would be a great, uh, it would be a great, like, episode of, like, the four of them. Oh, would be wow. a great, like, mm. yeah, dynamic. Would have been so good. Mm. Bring it on. Calling yeah. Emily Andrus. Sounds exhausting, but <laughs> season Season seven, it's fine. Yeah, it'll, yeah, it'll yeah. happen. Season seven. We'll get it. <laughs> um, the other thing that I, even though, again, there wasn't a lot of Earp sister scenes, I did like the undertone of like the Earp history. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was, again, um, really cool to sort of learn. Because, yes, again, it's not Earp sister stuff, but it is Earp family stuff. And I like, I like the, uh, the sort of small little um, pieces of information we keep learning about the family. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I'm very excited to see where that goes and terrified. <laughs> oh yeah oh man I do love how they have like they've showed us so many different siblings I hadn't even thought about it until just now but they like the Earp sisters have been like such a grounding force in the show that now this season it's like just almost like comparisons to it because we see mm -hmm. the the Clantons we see Holt and Cleo at that dinner scene together mm -hmm. and who who boy <laughs> like what a scene and you get like just an ounce of their dynamic and the only thing that we have to compare it to is Waverly and Winona and you have so many heartbreaking feelings about for them in that situation right mm -hmm. yeah we, like, we, go, oh, go ahead I was no, just saying ahead. just the dichotomy of the the herps and like their scene at the kitchen and then almost like the mm -hmm. next scene that we see is the Clantons and just like the good, good, evil, you know, white and black. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's exactly where I was going. I've got Jess. chills, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you do. Cause you have the, the herb side talking about getting their, their uh, nerd back, you know, completing the family, working as a team. Mm -hmm. And then you have that dichotomy and you look at the other side and it's just, like Ma'am, telling them what it's going to do, and it's pain, and it's vengeance. I mean, how can you yeah. um, talk about two sides of the coin? Right. And their prayer, just like never forget, never forgive. There's another never in there. I forget the other one. But. Yeah, and with the herbs, they're they're focusing on trying to get another, like get one of their family members back. And the Clantons are literally throwing one of their family members to the mm -hmm. Reaper. So it's such a huge difference. Mm -hmm. Stay with us, Rita. Time Stay with us. <laughs> I'm just going to float away. <laughs> <laughs> so many revelations here. Oh my, oh God. my goodness. I hadn't even thought of all of that. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah, going to a minute. <laughs> it, it is. There's so many layers and so many things to see. Um, yeah, this is this is why we have such a great time with all our rewatches and, and talking about, you know, we focus on the Earp sister, but when you, each of you has been taking kind of like going out another layer, a ring, if you will, of that foundation. And uh, yeah, and then the Rachel part of it is such that reflection of Winona when she was younger. I mean, complete with Rachel wearing her coat and looking mm. like her and yeah. acting like her. Um, 
I, I'm waiting for the scene where Winona, you know, Rachel does something that Winona would have that age. I'm just waiting for that scene where Winona just loses it or, or says something to somebody else about, you know, I'm looking in a mirror or something like that. Yeah. We're, we're all thinking it. I'm just waiting for it when it comes on screen. Mm. Bring on the banditos. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I mean, we're pretty close. I mean, she's time for a motorcycle planes. gang. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm waiting for a uh, Winona and Rachel, like another like heart to heart, where they're talking about you know Winona trying to connect with Rachel. Like you said, um, if Rachel's kind of having some whatever breakdown or whatever, and, and Winona's just like, I've been through that, and they really kind of come together. That would be really nice. Mm -hmm. This is the first episode. I mean, I know we haven't we had four, but where I really got the sense of how young Rachel actually is. Mm -hmm. Like, because in every other episode we've seen of her, she's like the one that's like saving them or like, you know, that kind of thing. And the whole stuff, her whole stuff with Billy, I really got the sense of how young she really was. Well, how many? Well, it's Sorry, oh, go, go, ahead. go ahead. No, no, Al, let's go ahead. You, you've had that thought for a second, though. You should definitely go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the age part of it, too, because it, it she had no choice, right? I mean, with what was going on at that BBD lab and her mom and everything, mm -hmm. she, she did it because it had to be done. Mm -hmm. um, and and I can't help but draw some vibes back, for me certainly, to some Buffy storylines. Uh, and, and the idea of, you know, you're dropped into a situation. You don't think about it. Age has little to do with it. It's yeah. just, this is what needs to be done. Um, and, and that's where it's fascinating to watch her, you know, be able to do part of it, so it's it's going to be interesting i mean we talked a little bit um i think it was maybe our very first video of the year or the second one wondering what the what rachel might do not in a bad way but what she might do with that herb sister daniel mm -hmm. uh, so far it's just kind of been winona for the most part along with rachel walking in on way hot but you know that's <laughs> we're thinking more of the two of them passing the mantle the yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's the jacket. Hashtag it's the jacket. Well, we got to be the one <laughs> breaking them up. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what's fascinating too, uh, to me at least, in, in terms of seeing it on, on the broader scope. Um, I'm wondering too, uh, you know, without being spoilery, um, the remaining two episodes in this first half of the season, in this six episode set, are, are a two-parter. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's titled Holy War, so I'm sure it's going to be a romp, you know, all kinds of crazy fun. Um, do we want to take any speculation or thoughts on what we might think, you know, be it Herb Sister or some of the dynamics of... Oh, but oh. Jill's not here to yell at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now's your chance. Now's you talk about opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. yeah. Thanks, Terry. <laughs> Terry's got it. <laughs> Picking up the mantle. Uh. <laughs> No, I mean, I, any of you started to think about that? Well, Who thinks Nicole's I, about to be a demon? I mean, nothing ah! good is happening to Nicole right now. It's fine. And I, uh, I think that there's a lot of, like, the look at this hand, hand while this is doing something mm -hmm. else that they very frequently do to us. And I feel like we've had a lot of lighthearted um, sister scenes. Mm -hmm. And I think that maybe what's happening to Nicole right now is going to push a lot of dividing lines between Waverly and Winona because mm -hmm. Winona cares about Waverly more than anything in the world and mm -hmm. if Nicole is up to no good then who's Winona to choose? Certainly if Nicole's not in control of herself, I mean, yeah, like, I, I know. I, I definitely think in that scenario, yes, like Winona would choose Waverly, but I think everything is so complex now that if it's something where, like, yes, whatever Nicole did, like, there's going to be consequences to that. But, you know, Winona did say, I would kill anyone, everyone to save Waverly. So I think that she mm -hmm. would see that Nicole did that for them and have some kind of sympathy there. And if it was something where Nicole wasn't in control of what she was doing, I don't think Winona would kill her to stop her. I think she would just like knock her out cold or like chain her up so she could save her because when she loves her, 
because she knows how much Waverly loves her. It's just a simple exorcist. It'll be fine. It'll come right back out. <laughs> we'll all be good. No drama. <laughs> it's totally fine. Right? It's uh, purgatory. They must have an exorcist somewhere. Right? Right? <laughs> I, heard someone, gotta be looking. I heard someone joking that the therapists in town are probably very overworked. Yeah. I'm yeah. Sure. <laughs> Nobody goes to therapy in that town. No one. <laughs> Communicate. Um, they're a bunch of therapy skippers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see. I do think that the title of Holy War is interesting because, again, we still don't know where Eve is or we don't officially yeah. know who Eve is. Um, and so, like, whether that comes back into play, um, I do think that, um, again, Earp sister wise, it m would maybe come into play, but like, there's something to do with the bar um and that whole scene with doc so whether that comes into back into play because as we saw doc was kind of against uh, Winona there for a little bit in the truck right there was that back and forth moment of like what he needs versus what she needs um and so whether that plays in and it becomes a side thing who knows um between like the Arab sisters i don't know whether like um it could be interesting to see if there is a like okay, Doc has this thing going on, so Winona has to go deal with that, and then Nicole has this thing going on, so Waverly has to go deal with that. Like, I'm wondering if it's almost a separation um, like thing with the sisters, where they're not necessarily going to be dealing with everything together. Thank you, there, Rita. I know. Rita's, <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't take Rita's, it. Rita's reactions no. are gold. I mean, I know. Focus on those if you're not already. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, you Winona said separate. she knew That's the Reaper. <laughs> Yeah, I want to know. I how, mean, like, how Wynonna was to talking it. to the Reaper, like, yeah, I know you, you know me. Did I know? You? Yeah, like, uh, and the other thing is, I think that, that it was like, his his uncle Ike, right? Is that who yeah. he said it was? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, who's Ike? Who's Ike? Clanton. He's the Clanton who lived. Clanton. Yeah. See, that's like, the other thing about the Clantons. Like, you're getting to actually see. Like, you wonder if if like their dad hadn't been shot when they were younger like would their family have turned out like the clantons where it's very mm -hmm. like like that revenge because the mom is doing all of that right like she's the one controlling it so like had their dad not been shot and died would he have reacted like are we seeing what would have played out if their storyline had been a little different mm -hmm. like um which i think is interesting um mm -hmm. again could all be a backstory that i created that doesn't exist but <laughs> <laughs> love doing that so um yeah, I don't know. And I'm I'm wondering how the book, like the book that Waverly chose, if that's going to come yeah. into these next two episodes, where it's going to be further on, like down the line, like. Well, and Doc knows what the book is because he saw it, right? Yeah, and he, he, like, mm -hmm. he, he, it, it, he right. hasn't given it to her, and like Waverly hasn't brought it up. So, like I had mentioned to someone today, like, what if Waverly forgot that part of the garden? Oh yeah. And then it'll take like. <laughs> whatever happens to Nicole like it's gonna start happening but then like Doc's like oh I have this book like out of nowhere and she like kind of remembers know. and like that is a way for her to save Nicole well to, to rewrite things I don't know well also if she did do that in the garden whatever she did maybe again if you're saying Nicole didn't know or necessarily had control over what she did maybe like whether she was rewriting the book that like Nicole would come to her or like somehow it like connects with what Nicole did with making a deal clearly like that would be also interesting too if there was a dynamic there if that had something to do with it rewriting the story or whatever and then but, have you guys all seen like when they leave the garden the glowing door it has like yeah. a right above it mm -hmm. and so it's like did they really get themselves out was it sneaky sneaky squirrels Clanton's that helped and how how does that all I'm just gonna say it right now I do not see half the stuff that people <laughs> on Twitter see in this show I am just over here living in a la la land being like oh this show's amazing and then two minutes later someone's like hey did you see this and I was like no what does that mean <laughs> like the sea i never saw the sea i can like barely pause and push play and like rewind <laughs> and I, can, I like, do that all the time I like, can barely do it yeah Ugh. Today, because, okay, so you know, like, in this episode, when Winona's stuck in the, the killing floor, what she says, like, the rocks, when she goes to touch the barrier, like, the, it's, you know, goes out, and then there's seas, kind of, around the edge. I even went back to 
episode two when oh, yes. Nicole was trying to get out of the barrier to see if there was anything on that force field, like a C. Right. I didn't see anything. Oh. <laughs> but I was like, they're both force fields. Maybe they're connected. I didn't see anything, though. Did, did anybody make the connection if the C is on Peacemaker, like in the symbols at all? Mm-hmm. Low I, gasp. Oh, my gosh. When know. Eve is in the garden, when Eve's face is like melting and all weird like that, and white and black and blue, it looks to me like there's actually Peacemaker symbols on her face when she's... Nicole, or when she's Winona? When when it's like, how oh, I don't remember which one, which human she was, but I think it was Winona. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there, but the, like the human face kind of disappears and melds into this white black thing. Mm -hmm. Um, but it looks, I thought that the black streaks looked like symbols that were melting through. It could just have been the screenshot that I saw and I have not delved into it, obviously, because that's the end of my theory. (laughs) And that could go with like (laughs) when Billy, like he does the thing and like holds the stone, like his face kind of turns all. Yeah, yeah, like it's. I don't know if there's any anything in there. He got a little dark while out there for a minute. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, since we're talking so much about the garden, how about the screenshots that folks have been talking about in the garden, where when Winona goes to get Waverly off the throne, oh, the so first right. time we see her go, there's, yes. all, there's three doors oh, on one side. Next time, there's five. Mm-hmm. So that is not is, accidental. You only see <laughs> no. three doors the one time in that scene, because the other times you see five, and there's some there you just can't see any doors. And I'm like, what does that mean? Well, this is where it, I saw some folks going down the rabbit hole of, okay, if if Ma'am truly did get that door to work. Were some of these other doors also other ways that they could have gotten out if they had known that that she had somehow influence in making them happen? I mean, I have no idea. This, again, we all know I'm not good with the theories either. I just wait to look at them on Twitter and see all these people who spent hours <laughs> on screenshots. Mm-hmm. And, and like, the, you know, Waverly, like right after she realized it's Clay and she says they're in purgatory. So it's like, where have they been all this time? Like, how old are they? Like, you know... Uh, I think Billy mentioned something about like eternity or like something like that. And I'm just like, yeah, like where have they been? How old are they? How far back do they go? Well, that their family is cursed too. Who cursed their family? Yeah. Like, yeah. Probably not Bolshar. Or maybe. Or maybe. <laughs> like when, <laughs> Eve, when, when Eve went through the door, she went to some time. And maybe she started this curse between the Earps and the Clantons to to pin them against each other. How fam- how familiar are all of you with like Bible stuff? Like not very okay, pretty, pretty familiar. Little. I went to Catholic school, but I don't remember any of it. <laughs> Just curious. Well, there's so there's um there's a part I can't remember when it happens. It's something in the New Testament, but there is a guy who is possessed by a bunch of demons and they call themselves legion mm-hmm. so i had a little Which, inkling of like what if eve is just was all of them mm-hmm. in one because like the screech that the reaper thing. makes reminded me of the screech we hear at the end up 312 when waverly's pulled through the mm-hmm. garden yeah like they pulled awesome. some stuff out of various religions, I think, at this point. But for sure, the de- but the demon stuff, like, all seems to be fairly rooted in. Oh, I have lots of angel that. theories. I have a whole lot of angel theories. Yeah. Let's do one, Rita. Well, I have a lot I, of whole theories. <laughs> so, but I, I'm. We're gonna get to season four. Just give me like a minute or two. So I think that Juan Carlo and Julian are symbols of the tree of knowledge and the tree of life. Juan Carlo is prophetic, but cannot interfere as he is like the tree of knowledge. And Julian is the tree of life and he's able to save people and, you know, heal people. And Waverly is too, mm-hmm. which I think is why the tree follows her around in the garden. And that Eve is 
because the whole the whole like creation or whatever that story in Genesis is about Eve being tempted and failing but I think Eve is the temptation and like the angel of life or the tree of life whatever would be tempted by love which he leaves the garden because of mama herb and the other would be of power which you know tempted by power because you have all this knowledge i don't think that juan carlo failed but anyway if that is the case i think that waverly also would be tempted by love in order to save nicole mm. and then that's where all of the dividing and saving and all of that and everyone's going to be separated and it's going to ruin everything but anyway <laughs> those are my feelings those are my angel theories ah, Bobo fits I like it. Too, but i'm not going to open that can i just I'm, yeah i'm not ready for the cliffhanger at the end of this of this part a or, or whatever the fact that it was like unintentional because they they thought they were going to come back and like they 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 wrote it in order to like keep on filming oh yeah i'm not it's not gonna be okay yeah. oh it's gonna be great i know well, if you, you, if you have a two-part holy war how can you know i know it can't be great <laughs> yeah. prepare what? ourselves <laughs> so um, ready and then like, i like your theory rita um yeah. but i actually think that uh that all of this is gonna instead of like driving the herb sisters apart i actually think that it's gonna bring them closer together so i think One they're gonna have to hope. like <laughs> yeah i think they're, they're gonna have to work together to, to save nicole to save everybody which which would be which would be nice to see Ooh, i'd love to yeah. see them just working <laughs> together amidst all of the other craziness so that yeah. would be for the fans or a nice little like okay we'll give you this they're gonna you're gonna have some really nice and really powerful herb sister scenes together so that's that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> I, want, yeah. I want to see Waverly's hands become the new peacemaker. Like every time she does, the, like cool. she kills the, like she grabs somebody's face. I'm like, maybe her hands are the new peacemaker, and that's how they kill the demons. We still don't know. Terrifying. Yeah. 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 I was like, I mean, look, I miss peacemaker, and I wanted to see a sword so bad. Yeah. But I'm just saying, it would be nice to see because she's done it to Doc, and she's done it to Bobo, and who else has she done it to? Is that it? Derek, the demon. Yeah. Oh, and that one demon, yeah. So, mm -hmm. Derek. 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 <laughs> well, I mean, as you know, there's naturally been lots of conversation with the with the Way Hot fans that getting you know a couple of really great scenes of them together was you know too much good, and that's why we're having the problems with the coal. No such so, thing. <laughs> so far, four episodes in. Life's been pretty good for the Herb Sisters. So, yeah. Terry Ann, well, I love the idea of them being there. I'm afraid <laughs> it's that other side of the coin. Yeah, we've, not we've, like what Rita said, you know. Yeah. I, I still don't think we're in the right reality. Me neither, man. <laughs> I agree. Everything's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and not yet. Everything's not I'm terrible. I'm so nervous, but it's foreboding and makes yeah. me very nervous. Everything like, Kylie was talking about, about having to save Doc and save Nicole, and then they're just going to be separated, and there's just only room for all of the bad things to walk right in. No. <laughs> just no. walks on in while the Herb Sisters are apart. Honestly, though, that's the one thing about the show that I love, is that, like, it gives you one answer and 9,000 more, yeah, more questions. Yeah, more questions, yeah. Because, like, I haven't been able to get, like, every episode, I'm like, what is happening but in the best way like not in like a bad way like in like the best way you're like what am i like is it they're ignoring this but that's gonna come back and like when is it gonna come back i don't know i'm so unsettled by when this is gonna come back good storytelling yeah well no. we were all so concerned about getting them out of the garden and we were so happy that they did and like we discussed no one's noticed in the sea or the multiple doors or the number of doors disappearing or the the tiny little cherry blossom or whatever it was growing into a gigantic tree in the course of like five minutes on screen, which could have been the 18 month, you know, so let's face it. It's like you said earlier, reader. It's like, okay, look over here. No, everything's happening over there. You know, so yeah. what, what other things have we, that's what I'm thinking about is what other things have we missed that they're going to come back and just, right. well, and there's just stairs so inside hungry. the altar. Like there's stone steps inside that altar. 
Well, from what I can see. Thing. And it's a Which triangle. One? Also, who's putting blood in the machine? Like, what's happening now if there's no blood going in the and machine? And what was that foot thing? The last time we saw it, there was looked like there was a foot, one footprint off to the side. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold the phone. What? Wait, is okay, that so, what was uh, happening the last time they showed the triangle? Something got out? No, no, So, like, episode two, right after the Earp sister scene, there's that, like, short clip of the yeah. blood machine. Yeah, and okay. I was just and like, then right next blood. to it, it looks like there's a footprint of blood. Like, it's like a big. What? Yeah. To oh me, gosh, it looks like a footprint. Go this is so back. fun to watch. I don't know. Faces. And also, yeah. if, you, if, you see, if you see that image flat on, like the machine, it's an arrow pointing up. Like, if you see, like, you know, where Waverly was standing when they were getting the blood out of the guy, like, if you look at that point, from head on, it looks like an arrow pointing up, and my mind was like, "Is that any, anything of significance?" Probably. Where's okay. Where's Adam? Yeah. Where's the snake? Like, where is the? Like, yeah, I'm I sick. mean, if we had Eve, <clears throat> pardon yeah. me, in the garden, does that also mean we had some type of balancing force that was there with her too? Mm -hmm. This is a smash right? the patriarchy show. They don't need Adam. That's true. No, no. <laughs> doesn't have to be. I doesn't have to be Adam. Yep. No. Nope. But Fair why? Point. Who who opened up the door to allow Doc to go into that little room to see the mirrored images to yeah, know it was fake? Something or someone was trying to help them know that, you know, not Nicole was not Nicole, and right? Like, who, who whispered and to Wade the other one? That BBD yeah, is trying to weaponize it. <laughs> that was something mm -hmm. that, and now BBD is back, and they're like, oh, we're naive and fisheries, <laughs> and you're like, no. <laughs> No, no. Lies. <laughs> Not today. Uh, yeah, because they were, they were building that interdimensional gateway thing. Mm -hmm. So they knew it was there long before Waverly ended up in the garden, right? So mm -hmm. what other secrets did BBD have that none of us, you know, Department of Fisheries don't know about or, or what's going on? So and We still haven't Wasn't had it... uh, the explanation of Jeremy's powers. So like there's that whole side too. Oh, my we're just getting wrong. played, guys. <laughs> we're just getting I'm not going to sleep tonight. Is what's going to happen. <laughs> and wasn't it, wasn't they, it they've the... like they've given us all of these like delicious tidbits, and then they're just going to be like, Whoo! and pull the rug just straight <laughs> out and be like, yeah. "Oh, you guys were looking yeah. and enjoying everything. It's so yeah. fun." I think we need wasn't cutesy call the... signs for season four. <laughs> <laughs> um, wasn't it the the lady at BBD? I forget her name. Naomi. Wasn't it like, didn't she have that line that was very similar to Kevin's um, from episode 310 about, um, oh, my mind's blank. Jess is our resident Waverly, everyone. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was just thinking that. I was like, how do you remember this? <laughs> no, she says, she says something. What, what does Kevin say about, about whoever she works for? Upper management. Uh, upper something management. About yeah, and isn't there like a sim a very similar line that? Oh yeah, she was talking about um, it's not me, it's like the bosses you have to worry about kind of thing. Mm -hmm. There was something about that. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. But like what they say, like is almost line for line, like those words were both used by both Kevin huh. and then this BBD person. So like part of me is thinking is is Kevin the mystical side of BBD, and will we ever oh. see that again? Yeah, and who was Kevin? And who was Kevin? Yeah, <laughs> Kevin. Who's Kevin? Oh, I just have more questions now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, and that's this why has we been love great, it, guys. Uh, <laughs> do you guys think we'll see Winona react any more to how scared she was Ooh. of this Reaper? And like, because like one of the comments that like really stuck out at me was like, she's like, I don't have my gun. Like, and so like, I don't know, do you think she'll, like, like the fact that she doesn't have her gun and maybe she feels less, more human, less powerful, do you think that'll get brought up? Well, she was named the champion, right? Is that yeah. still true? Well, she would, Maybe yes, not was, in this reality. Yeah, see? <laughs> yeah, going back to tie it back. But, but this was also the first time we've seen her that scared. Oh. genuinely mm -hmm. terrified that that is what got me in this episode i love it more. i love it all but see so is that is that 
you know, with, with the Reaper or something from the Clamptons, is that going to be something that down the line, Waverly is going to have to somehow save Winona mm. again, because she doesn't have Peacemaker. Waverly has always known that, you know, yeah, I love her, but she's always got a way to take care of herself. Is she now seeing that she doesn't? And is she going to have to make a sacrifice? Why the other way? threatened in 104 too. Waverly had to forgive Winona in the blade. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, geez. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. Maybe that's a coincidence, and maybe it's not. But it's never a coincidence. I was trying <laughs> to that episode, though. I know that. Yeah, I was trying to think of what happened in two hundred four, and I think that's when. That's a Mixion episode. Is that when we get Gunona, or is that two hundred five? Mm -hmm. Jess. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I always. I, I think it's two hundred five. I was going to say, I picture after this, after this, Rita's going to have a murder board thing going on in her house. <laughs> I'm like the like guy. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'll be my background next time, don't worry. Please do. <laughs> do you You're like connecting all the dots. Yeah. yeah. Do you think Holt or Cleo will go against Ma'am? Who do you want to say? I think so. So we'll have these two siblings kind of match up. Oh, because that would be of, a dream. Yeah. Because like what I was thinking about so Billy used his, what did he call it? He used covenant. his covenant to save who he thought was Rachel, but it was really, he was saving Winona. Right. So what if Cleo and or Holt use theirs to defeat Ma'am? Mm. I, I, I think that scene of what Ma'am did to Cleo is yeah. meant to let us know you do not want to go against her in any way, shape or form. Um, so I, while I like that idea of, you know, evil gets knocked down from within, I don't know. She's looking pretty mm, bad. Terrifying. Yeah. 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 So. And if know, we take I don't know. Clintons, the, the sibling order, you have Holt as Willa and Cleo as Winona. Mm. And I almost called him Henry, Billy, <laughs> teenage boy as Waverly. Mm -hmm. And I feel like what happened with Winona or what happened with Cleo at the table, if there was going to be like, I don't think Holt is ever going to stray from what's going on. Like He's the law. He, right. Like it was Willa's job and Willa took the job seriously, too seriously. <laughs> um, but I think that Cleo might, if they're going to like use that dynamic at all, which could be cool. Until Waverly sacrifices herself. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> you the one that started that. <laughs> oh, well, I think all we've done is talk ourselves into a sleepless night, basically. In yeah. Half hour. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, also 204 is where Waverly loses her hand, by the way. Oh. Ah, okay. So also we ah. see a scared Winona there. Lots of knives and things getting chopped mm -hmm. and things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So 204. So the f episode fours are miserable. Got it. <laughs> Sevens are great. Sevens are fun. They're always fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in 304, that's when Mama gets out of prison. Mm -hmm. I love the fourth episodes. They're so interesting. Well, so we're no. just in for a lot of misery and the yeah. vibes. So. <laughs> Have careful what we wish for, as we say. <laughs> I'm excited, though. Oh, mm. gosh. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. no, it's exciting yeah. as all get out. It's just oh. also terrifying. Because mm -hmm. um, let's face it, too, if it's a two-part finale, very obviously by title, you know, part one and part two, that probably means something at the end of part one is really, really not going to be something we want to see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Right. To reality. I mean, yeah. yeah. And we're thinking this week is long. Next <laughs> week is going to be yeah. long. <laughs> so, All of us uh, are going to be that guy that's connecting the dots yeah. in the background. We're just going to be like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, give me give me a minute. Let me show you this seventy-five yeah. <laughs> point plan on how it all works and how it works. Uh, well, writers are so above our head. Yeah, they they're just ju they're laughing at us. I'm oh, sure by looking it. at the discuss discussions and stuff we're having. Oh. Yeah, that's why they're so good at what they do. Mm -hmm. Well, it's been fun again getting together to uh, chat up Herb Sisters and obviously to 
go a lot deeper in different rabbit holes, but it all will tie back to them, I do believe. So hopefully you folks uh, have enjoyed our crazy, crazy train <laughs> in different directions. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we, we appreciate it. We have fun doing it. We hope you folks are enjoying watching. And uh, yeah, we've got uh, a couple more here in uh, season 4A. So you know we'll be back after each. And I suspect we're going to have some emotional stuff happening. So thanks again, everybody. Appreciate you checking in with us. And we will catch you all soon. Bye. Bye.